It has been almost a year since Rainbow C1 released, but some gamers are not very clear about what exactly is analog motion control that Big Big One has been promoting. Why do we add it to our product? Why is it good? Besides, how to set up motion control? How to make it smoother? In this video, all these questions will be answered. You see your problems of self-esteem could be self-fulfilling prophecy So probably your best policy is to talk to me Guess you guys have used a motion gaming controller? In Nintendo Switch's Super Mario Kart, you can use motion control to control the directions. Motion control brings you a more focused and immersive experience. In another game, Splatoon, Motion control is used for aiming. Motion control brings you a faster and more precise aiming experience. Think if there's no motion control, controller gamers can only aim by carefully pushing the joystick. In short, motion control can make a huge difference in aiming speed and aiming accuracy. Interested in trying more motion control games? Sorry, but I have to kill your buzz. Nintendo Switch has pretty much games that support native motion control, but few games on PS slash Fox slash PC can support motion control. In other words, it's hard to play motion control games on these platforms. So there's no way to play motion control games on platforms other than Nintendo? There is, the analog motion control solution. To realize motion control, the gaming controller's gyroscope is used to simulate the left and right joysticks. Such a simulation is obviously advantageous, invincible compatibility. In theory, any game that supports the left and right joysticks can achieve analog motion control. Okay, that's all for how motion control works and how to use it. Now we'll talk about how to set up the comfy motion control. This function, which adjusts the motion control sensitivity, is rather subjective as everyone's habits differ. However, when the gyroscope sensitivity is set to 50, it has the nearly same sensitivity as the view of the joystick's control. So it's suggested to adjust the value based on the benchmark of 50. As a further supplement to the gyroscope sensitivity, this function can control the horizontal vertical sensitivity of the gyroscope. For example, the gyroscope sensitivity is set to 50, and the horizontal vertical ratio is set to 1, meaning the horizontal sensitivity and vertical sensitivity are equal, both are 50. The horizontal vertical ratio of 1.5 means the horizontal sensitivity is 1.5 times the vertical sensitivity, which is 75. You will clearly sense that the horizontal gyroscope becomes more sensitive. The sensor curve works to control the initial and end sensitivity of the gyroscope. Its value range is 30 to 255. When set to 100, the gyroscope's input is proportional to the output, meaning its initial and end sensitivity are equal. When the sensor curve is set under 100, the gyroscope's sensitivity becomes high but then goes down. 
This will be helpful in that the gyroscope can be very sensitive under slight shaking. But if you shake sharply, it won't be too sensitive to lose control. When the sensor curve is set above 100, the gyroscope sensitivity becomes low but then goes up. This setting is helpful for gamers who feel very shaky when the global switch is turned on, as it lowers the sensitivity of the initial movement to make the gyroscope less sensitive under slight shaking. In the end, we'll talk about the core setting of motion control, dead zone compensation, which is related to the smoothness of the analog motion controls view. Let's start with a theorem. The analog motion control can only be perfect and smooth when there's no dead zone of viewing. So if you want the analog motion control to be smooth, you need to set up the zero dead zone for the right joystick in the game. However in some games, even if the dead zone of the right joystick is set to zero, the dead zone still exists. So we need to add some external input compensation on the peripherals, i.e dead zone compensation. How does it work? If the dead zone cannot be set to zero in a game, it may result in the lag of analog motion control. We can manually add a certain compensation value before the gyroscope outputs to let it step over the dead zone. The actual result is no dead zone, so as to achieve smooth analog motion control. Turn your frown into a crown Put yourself in an evening gown And I'll roll around Rip it off, break you off Important as the settings are A smooth analog motion control lays the foundation So we suggest the first thing to do after entering the game One dot set to zero for the right joystick's dead zone in the app Two dot set to 100 for the sensor curve to fix the sensitivity if you feel lags for analog motion control under slight shaking, meaning there are still dead zones remaining in the game, it's suggested to gradually increase the dead zone compensation value until the analog motion control turns smooth. That's all for today's guide to analog motion control. For gamers who've been skilled in motion control, this guide is just the icing on the cake. But new gamers, trust me, these settings will definitely help you a lot. I hope this video can answer you well about motion control settings. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment. Thanks for watching.